Can you remove an existing acrylic sealer from concrete? The answer is yes. Uh, typically, there's two ways of doing that. One is by mechanical means, either sandblasting or grinding, or even high pressure washer to uh, physically remove the sealer from the concrete. The other way is to strip the sealer from the concrete, typically using chemical strippers, solvent-based strippers, or you can use plant-based or more uh, environmentally friendly emulsifiers to soften and then allow you to uh, strip, um, you know, scrape off or again pressure wash once the sealer has been softened. But before you make a decision about removing the acrylic, you need to check whether you actually need to do that. Is the acrylic beat up? Is it peeling? Is it lifting? Or is it just dull and weathered? If it's just dull and weathered, you may be able to clean it and then reapply uh, another coat of acrylic. But you need to check what type of acrylic you have down to make sure that the new acrylic is compatible with the existing. Yeah, if you have a solvent-based acrylic on your floor, then really you want to go back with a solvent-based rather than a water-based. A quick check for solvent acrylics is to take some xylene and to apply a small amount uh, for about 15 or 20 seconds and then wipe it off. Then touch the acrylic. If it's very tacky, then that's a good indication that you have a uh, solvent-based acrylic. And then you should go back with a solvent that will bond or fuse to the existing layer and you'll have a good recoat. Don't use a water-based acrylic over an existing acrylic. What to look for if you apply and water-based acrylic over a solvent base. So we need to be very careful because unless that solvent is very, very worn, uh, water-based acrylics won't be compatible with a uh, solvent base. What you're likely to see is the solvent-based uh, sealer will reject the water-based acrylic, it will repel it. So it'll be like there's oil on the surface, water and oil. The water-based acrylic will ball up, it will separate, it won't lay out in a nice coat. So that's telling you that, that there's some incompatibility there and probably you're going to have to strip the acrylic, the solvent-based acrylic, if you want to use a water-based acrylic. So here's an important thing to think about if you're going to use xylene-based acrylic sealer. They are much more flammable, they're much more hazardous to use, they release uh, fumes into the atmosphere, what we call VOCs, so they're very high in VOC. Typical acrylic, solvent-based acrylic is like 15% acrylic and the other 85% is just pure solvent. Um, more and more the industry is moving away from solvent-based acrylics because they're hazardous, because they're not good for the environment. So uh, you might think about using a water-based, maybe biting the bullet and stripping off an old solvent base and then continuing on with the much more user-friendly, much more environmentally safe water-based acrylic sealer. What are the characteristics of a good concrete sealer remover? Well, you want to use a chemical that doesn't dry out quickly. You want to be able to apply it and it will soften the acrylic and allow you to come back and pressure wash it or scrape it. If it dries out or evaporates too quickly then the acrylic will go from being soft back to being a hard resin and it, then it becomes more difficult to remove. You're also looking for something that's uh, safe to use, something like our fast strip which uses very safe environmentally friendly emulsifiers to soften the acrylic sealer. It's long lasting, it's slow evaporation and effectively can remove multiple layers of acrylic sealer. Stay away from high solvent, highly flammable, high VOC caustic chemical strippers which are dangerous to use, um, may uh, dry out very quickly and require repeat application. How do you remove clear acrylic sealer from concrete? Two main ways of removing acrylic sealer. Uh, if it's old and flaky, you may be able to just pressure wash it, uh, high pressure wash. You may need uh, to use some abrasive sandblasting or mechanically grinding. Of course, you've got to be careful about damaging the concrete because uh, these are clear sealers that are thin layers that are applied on the concrete. A more safer way of doing it is to use chemical strippers, either a solvent-based uh, chemical slip, uh, stripper or a plant-based type uh, chemical stripper. Uh, these products 
products are, will soften the sealer and then allow you to scrape it off or to pressure wash it off. Something like our Fast Strip is a very effective seal, uh, sealer remover. It's got these uh, emulsifiers that will soften quickly soften the uh, clear acrylic uh, but and keep it soft for much longer time than a lot of these solvent based that just flash off quickly. It can be uh, applied by spraying or by roller application and then it can be safely pressure washed. It's not harmful to uh, the environment and when it's diluted like that it won't damage surrounding plant or grass. Can household ingredients be used to remove acrylic sealers from concrete? In general, I would say no. The concentration and the amount of household ingredients needs to be uh, much higher than you typically have, and I don't think they'll effectively remove an acrylic. Vinegar uh, or uh, caustic chemicals, they may dull out the surface or the shine on an acrylic, but they won't totally remove them. Will vinegar remove acrylic sealer? I would say generally no. Vinegar is a mild acidic solution and most acrylics are resistant to vinegar. Uh, plus vinegar needs to work on mineral based surfaces. The acrylic is a polymer, it's a resin that's going over the concrete. So vinegar might clean bare concrete, but it's not gonna actually have any real impact on removing an acrylic polymer resin. Will muriatic acid remove acrylic sealer from a concrete surface? Generally, I would say no. Uh, acrylics will hold up to muriatic, muriatic acid. It uh, can be sourced at very high concentrations and typically you need to dilute it to use it safely and that won't uh, impact or uh, really harm the or soften the acrylic sealer. Uh, ac acids work best on cement or mineral type surfaces. Remembering acrylic is a polymer, it's a resin, so it's acting as a barrier uh, to uh, the concrete. So the acetic acid or muriatic acid is not actually touching the concrete itself. So I would say don't use muriatic acid and be very careful because that comes as a concentrate and needs to be diluted to be safely handled. Will baking soda remove acrylic concrete sealer? The answer is no. Baking soda is a mildly alkaline product or chemical, even in solution. Uh, it may dull the surface, uh, but it's not strong enough or powerful enough to break down an acrylic generally. Uh, you need to use something that's got a much higher alkalinity or higher pH than you would find in uh, baking soda. Will mineral spirits remove an acrylic concrete sealer? Mineral spirits can soften an acrylic sealer to allow you to scrape it or remove it. Um, it really depends on the type of acrylic sealer that you have. Interior, high shine, maybe some of the acrylics that you get from a off-the-shelf big box uh, that are softer, uh, they could be removed using mineral spirits. The tougher acrylic sealers, the tougher stain and chemical resistance, like our AC450, again, are going to be very resistant to mineral, mineral spirits. They may dull it a little bit, but they're not going to effectively strip it. You need to use a stronger solvent or a stronger emulsifying product, something like our Fast Strip or our Floor Strip HP. How long does a typical acrylic sealer last on concrete? How long an acrylic sealer lasts really depends on how it's formulated and the type of acrylic resin that's being used and how much of that resin is in the formula. What's its uh, solids content? Typical off-the-shelf big box acrylics are uh, softer resins. They have a lower polymer content and they'll last one to two years, right? They're softer, they absorb water, they wear off quickly and they break down faster due to UV light uh, exposure. Uh, we formulate with a much harder resin, something that uh, dries out with a very hard film that is very resistant to water, water absorption, very resistant to chemical resistant and extremely stain resistant. So our acrylics are lasting two to three years, exterior exposure, high traffic exposure. How to clean and maintain concrete that's been freshly sealed with an acrylic sealer? Well, a good acrylic sealer, a good tough hard-wearing acrylic sealer should be much easier to keep the concrete clean, right? You put a nice barrier across the floor that's resistant to dirt pickup. It's resistant to chemicals, oils, and stains. So you don't need to use any harsh chemicals, mild uh, dishwasher, uh, neutral cleaners, uh, low alkalinity type cleaners, nothing harsh, nothing acidic uh, shouldn't be necessary. Uh, you can use uh, slight scrubbing action. It's important to just agitate the water a little bit and then uh, remove it 
uh, either by damp mopping or by wet vac, uh, not to leave a residue onto the floor. If you got a higher shine, softer resin, then that may uh, require more care. Some of these acrylics that you get from the off-the-shelf big box stores are softer, they trap dirt, uh, but they're also very moisture sensitive. They'll leave mop marks, they'll leave wet uh, or the water white. So you need to be very careful about the cleaning water. Uh, don't leave pails and damp or um, mops around that will potentially leave permanent marks into your acrylic sealer. But again, avoid using harsher chemicals, mild chemicals, neutral cleaners like the gloss clean or the emerald cleaner are great for cleaning acrylics interior or exterior.